Yeah, <laughs> that's what you get. That's what it's like in the mountains when it snows here. So I'm back from the mountains and I'm ready to develop my film. And the film I'm actually developing is Arcus 100. This was the film that I was using on Saturday with that great light up there. And I'm hoping to see, get some interesting results. Again, because I think we're, the light has even got better here, as you'll see. Uh, so let's take a shot of that. That's got, the light's got nice and bright now. For So to develop black and white film, or develop any film actually, you need one of these guys. This is a development tank. So let's open it up and show you what's in it. So usually you get two of these reels, and for medium format you only need one. Uh, when you have 35 millimeter, you will make this smaller, and then you can stack two of them in here. Uh, and there's a little clip, just, just to just take that clip off, you see that little clip there? That little clip goes onto the spindle, the spindle and your film, which will be on your reels, goes into the tank in your dark bag. You close it all up and then you can take it out of your dark bag. So let me show you the dark bag. The dark bag usually is this guy here. So you got, let's see, let's see you make it easy. You got two sleeves here. For each hand. And your hands go in here, you do all your fiddling about in here to fill the development tank. On the other end, you've got two zips to ensure that it's completely light tight. That's really important. So, in my case, I'm going to open up my zips. I'm going to put all this stuff in there. So, let's just Put our spindle in, our clip in, the, the tank, all that stuff in, right? Before we put the film in, so here's the film. You've got to make sure this is the correct size. You can just adjust this and get it correctly. Now, if you can see that, what you want to do is you get, when you open this film inside the dark bag, you, you basically feed it in here, okay? And then you cut you will just wind it on to the reel. It takes a while, uh, much easier to do with medium format than it is to do with 35 millimeter, because 35 millimeter is much longer than uh, 120 uh, 20 medium format film. So let's do that. And then we're gonna do the development and I'll show the chemicals on development in a minute. And uh, just so you get an idea, because I have I have a film here that that is useless. Okay, so you would do this under inside this dark bag, not in light, completely light tight. So you got to basically open this guy up. You got the backing paper, and you feel along with your hands with the backing paper. Like you should do it like that with your hands, and then you'll feel this. You see, you feel it. And there's usually a bit of tape here. And then you, you've got to just pull that off the tape. So we got, you would peel this off the tape. Okay. Ah, it's a little tricky. Peel or tear, whatever works. And then you get the film. You get it into this. See? goes quite easily in. You can just either let this in your hand inside your dark bag and you just you just basically feed that in here like that. It goes quite easily, quite smooth. And you'll notice that the backing paper, you see the backing paper, it's going off. So that will just feed all the way up. Alright? And then you'll get to the end. Now this is really important when you when you get to the end. Actually in this film it came off quite nicely. But in some Ilford film, you there is also a piece of tape at the end. And you gotta be really careful to peel that off because sometimes you can either scratch the film or you can 
you, you can damage the film or rip it. So that goes in here and that will go in. Then you'll, in your dark bag, you'll find the spindle. So you get the spindle, put the spindle in here and then you put it in the tank and then you close it, then you put it, there's a, wherever that little clip is, put the little clip in, clip it in. There's a clip. All right, you clip that guy in. So let's do that. So that clips into the top here. So it should look like that there, okay? So, and then, then we're gonna, then you just close it up. And then you can take it out of your dark bag. Once you've done that, you, you can work in the light because all you gotta do is pour in your chemicals Turn it around a number of times for your rotations, pour out your chemicals, next chemical in. So that's probably the hardest part of film development is to get the film inside the uh, development tank. So now I have got my Arcus, Arcus film inside the development tank and I'm ready for the chemicals. Uh, just to, to point out on the Arcus film compared to the other film that I showed you, the demo film, uh, at the end of at the end of the of the backing paper, it was also stuck on. So each film is slightly different. So some are harder to get off than others. Some don't have this, others do. It depends on the manufacturer and the brand. Um, so always be aware of that and be gentle with the film when you're when you're bringing it in on the reel. Try not to touch it and try not to fold it over or to, at, when you get to the end, try not to let it snap like I was doing with the demo film. The demo film, this guy here, which is with the demo one, is just to show how it works. Okay, let's get on to the chemicals. Okay, so let's talk about the chemicals. You're gonna need a developer, of course, and the developer I like to use is Rotnell. Rotnell has been around since the 1860s and got commercially available in the 1890s. There was a bit of a patent war and then it became publicly available, the recipe. Uh, it hasn't changed much. Oh, I think it's been tweaked a little bit, but pretty much exactly the same as the original recipe. And the great thing with Rotnell is it has a great shelf life. So this little bottle will develop. Oh. I don't know how many films, but at least at least a hundred, and it will last you about a year. And it's extremely corrosive, so that's very important that you wear protection in your gloves. And if you need, if you're worried about getting in your eyes, also some protection for your eyes as well. But Rotnol is wonderful developer, really simple to use. Let's talk about the fixer. Fixer I'm using is, is just Rapid Fix, standard hypo. Uh, you can use Ilford Rapid Fix, um, it's all the same. It's also from the original recipe from John, John Herschel. He was the guy who came up with, uh, with hypo. This is basically hypo. Uh, so it's basic chemicals back from the 1900s. So my fixer, I have put one to four in my glass bottle here. I've used distilled water because uh, my water here is quite got quite a lot of lime scale in it. So, and I don't really want that coming off my film. So all you need really is two chemicals, your developer and your fixer. You could also, if you, you could also get what is basically a film wash and that gets rid of any kind of, uh, any kind of debris that could be on your film. And you just use a drop of that in some water and wash it at the end of the process. But that's optional. You don't have to do that. You just need to do your, your developer, Rotnell, and then your, then your fixer. Uh, there's a number, depending on what film you're using, uh, there is a number of recipes how to use Rotnell. For fixer, this is, this is basic. This is just four minutes in the fixer, done. If you leave it five or five, five or eight minutes, it's also, it doesn't matter. It's not so strict. It actually says in the, the back of the bottle here, uh, three to five minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna develop, I'm gonna develop my film. So now that we've talked about development and chemicals, 
Let's talk about the recipe. Now the recipe I've used here for rotten oil is one to 100. So it's about five milliliters. I've actually used the cap of the bottle um, in about 500 to 600 milliliters of water to develop one reel of 120 Arcus film. Now this specific recipe that I wanted to use with this film. So for other films, you could be looking at three minutes with a one to 25. So this is something you've got to experiment, and this is actually the joy of film as well, that you have dis, you know, you've dis different recipes. Uh, the fixer will always say the same, but your developer will, depending how long and your concentration of your rotenol or whatever developer you're using. I recommend to start with rotenol because it's very flexible. But if you're using higher speed film like 400 or 3200, you've got to use a different developer, otherwise you'll have just crazy grain. So I'm going to show you some of the images uh, that I made, actually most of the images from one reel of uh, film. And that's all I used, one reel of Arcus film. There's one image that is just um, didn't come out right, I don't know why, but uh, there's 11 images here. Most of them are actually of the same or different compositions. So there's one of the mountains and different compositions of the mountains. Then there's one of my son Jake and a couple of images from Jesse. And then there's an ice plate image and a few images of a frozen stream, which, um, which came out quite well. Some of them are not pin sharp because I was hand holding this handheld. Um, but all in all, I'm very pleased with the results I've got. Let's have a look around here. I'll just show you around a bit. Uh, I think I might shoot in this direction here. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Uh, that looks good too. As you can see, it's cold. You'll need to wear a hat and a scarf out here. Wow, it's really cold. little overcast not like the morning when it was uh, the light was breaking and coming in and I'm going to do a few more shots with the Yashica uh, I've measured my light here and hopefully my son is going to come out and take a portrait we'll see we'll see let's go and find him let's see Walk, little walk, small talk, big thoughts Gonna tell them all just what I want You reckon? I'm essing, <laughs> yeah No, do you reckon? I don't know what you mean I'm gonna take this out And I'm gonna shoot some pinhole with it uh, I'm gonna shoot some images with the Yashica it's got a really cool design, as you can see here. What a spaceman in the back. So, I'm gonna be that spaceman with that camera. No matter what camera you're using, I'm using this little Yashica here, a twin reflex camera. That street, two streets, I see you and me hanging on the end of swings. I reduce the heat to stabilize the water so it doesn't go up and doesn't go down. Ah. And I reach about two to three minutes. Then I turn off. And then the cost of it gets back down. And then under pressure. Yeah. Slay 